Time is money, and I know that you want to make money, but if you want your machines to run as efficiently and quickly as possible, you are going to have to take some time for preventative maintenance. Today, I'm going to show you one quick item you can do to keep your machines running as well as possible. I'm standing here in front of our A32. It's a Swiss lathe. It's a high volume, high efficiency machine. It's meant to make several parts as fast as possible. With that though, you come into a lot of dirt and grime and buildup if you just let it run and run and run and run. In my hand is a collet and guide bushing from said machine. These are what you need to make sure you're cleaning every so often out of your Swiss lathe. This particular machine happens to be running a high volume part and we're not doing a whole lot of changeovers. Normally, if you're doing a lot of changeovers, it's a convenient time to take these out and clean them because you might even be swapping them as it is anyway. But these aren't coming out all that often. In fact, they've been in there for a couple of weeks now. If I take my finger and swab it in there, not only is it dirty, but if you can catch the shine off of the, those little flecks, those are pieces of material, chips, and those are the worst items that you can have inside of these. Now, your collets and guide bushings are spring-loaded components. That's how they function. They open and close as they're tightened down or loosened up. What you want to avoid is getting all that dirt, grime, chips, what have you, inside these channels. If you take a close look at this one, a couple chips there, one nice one there, and definitely a lot of heavy buildup in this last channel. Items like that are gonna cause these to function less and less and less efficiently over time and eventually they'll either stop working altogether or possibly break. This is the reason that you want to take them out, at least at some normal cadence, to clean them. Here at our shop, we use a safety clean parts washer, uses a uh, mineral spirits type solvent. Wouldn't be uncommon for somebody to maybe spray a little WD-40, but anything you can do to get those chips out of there, to get all that dirt and grime out of there, get them back in the machine and running nice and clean. For more quick tips, like and subscribe, See you next time.